Charlemagne came in contact with lots of different cultures, lots of different styles of learning. He recognized that he needed really well-educated government officials to help him control such a huge territory. And he makes, he institutes lots of specific programs that lead to what historians call the Carolingian Renaissance, right? So a Renaissance is a rebirth, it's a flowering of culture. And this is basically a flowering of culture under Charlemagne and maybe into his, success, his successors that really receives a lot of royal support. Most of this originated at a school that Charlemagne develops in his capital. The capital, if you are in Germany, is known as Aachen. If you're in France, it's known as Aix la Chapelle. Throughout history, it's been French and German back and forth. And he immediately appoints the guy who is regarded to be the smartest dude in all of Europe, a monk from York in Italy named Alcuin, he has some other names, um, as its director. And because of that school, because of the money he pumps up into it, and because of Alcuin as director, this school ends up attracting the best minds of Europe, and it makes it a huge cultural center. Um, some of the sources you have for this week relate to Alcuin. Think about how the fact that he's a monk, how the fact that he is under Charlemagne's pay, how the fact that he is really well educated might shape what he says and what is said to him. Probably the big contribution that Alcuin makes is he revives the basic course of study and he creates or introduces what is known as the seven liberal arts. Ferrum College, liberal arts college. And what that means is students become proficient in lots of different things. They study in the first kind of years of education, what's known as the trivium, tri, three, grammar, logic, and rhetoric, all designed to be able to teach you to communicate well. And after that, what are considered the higher faculties, the quadrivium, there's four of them, geometry, arithmetic, astronomy, and music. And if you know anything about music, it's really the mathematical basis of music that's important. Um, okay, so this done at the palace school, um, the Herbs Regale. Uh, Charlemagne himself is educated there. He recognizes that he had a really bad education and tries to rectify it. Um, but it's also there that his sons and even his daughters and his clerics are educated. Alcuin himself has a huge role as an advisor to Charlemagne on how to support Pope Leo. Um, and he's also important for introducing what we're going to see on the next page.